Guys, they said Queen Naomi was in disbelief as Kabi Esi reached out to her, asking her if Captain Okbebi is better than him. Hmm. And the Sekabesi did not only do that, the Sekabesi also promised Queen Naomi that he is not going to fold his arms and watch Captain Okbebi take his wife from him and also take his son from him. That whatever she is doing with Captain Okwebi, they should bring back Tade Nikawo to him. The thing is that they said Kwinomi was like Kabiesi. When will you learn to let go? That holding on will always hurt you. It will be better for you to let go because as for me, I am no longer interested in this marriage. Talking about Tade Nikawo, Captain Okwebi is not taking away your son from you. Mm -mm. He's not doing any of that. He is just a good friend who wants to uh, kind of help me. I don't know why you are seeing it as if uh, he's an enemy. He is not your enemy. They said that was what Queen Naomi told Kabiesi. Because Kabiesi is threatening that uh, he is going to finish up. Uh, uh, he's going to kind of deal with uh, Captain Opebi. But we all know that Kabiesi cannot do that. Reason is because, from what we are hearing, uh, Captain Okwebi is not doing anything with Queen Naomi. Even Kabiesi himself knows that Queen Naomi cannot move on with uh, her normal life until he gives her her freedom. Or maybe, maybe Kabiesi is just jealous that Queen Naomi is loving. Uh, that Quinomi uh, loves that uh, Captain Obebi. That is why uh, things are moving on the way it is going on. Because the other time, before KBSC enters seclusion from what we heard, after Quinomi traveled to uh, is it Dublin, I think, from Dubai to... Uh, okay, not Dublin. From Yes, they said she traveled from Dubai to Dublin. Then from Dublin, she went to uh, where her uncle was staying. I know from there, she returned back. Before KBC entered that seclusion, there was a meeting between Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi's mother, um, Deji of Akure, and KBC and uh, few people from KBSC side allegedly that is what we heard they said Kwenami was on her knees begging KBSC crying telling KBSC to please let her go that she is not just not only interested in the marriage again that she is no longer in love with KBSC that she doesn't love KBSC again that she is now in love with another person that is what they said Queen Naomi told Kabiesi. Then, uh, Kabiesi is afraid that this other person that Queen Naomi said she is in love with might be this uh, Captain Okwebi. Mm -hmm. That is why they say Kabiesi have been sending warning messages. We have heard that he sent to uh, the guy's Matana home. Kabiesi sent the message to them. He also sent a message to his uh, father's house, warning them that they should warn their son to leave his wife alone. The wife is not in your house, so why would he leave her alone? That's the question. Hmm? And the information have it that this guy in question is somehow royalty. Yes, because we have heard that he is related to the... Uh, about of Lagos, I think. I don't know exactly, but they said the guy is is like he's also royalty. And not only that, the guy in question is stinkingly rich. Information have it that he is richer than KBSC three times, if not four times. So KBSC have seen that this guy have all it takes to maintain Queen Naomi. The guy have all it takes to even fight KBSC if he decides to. Mm -hmm. Because the other day we heard that the guy told KBSC, that was when KBSC sent a message through his head that uh, he is going to UK to go and look for Konami and take Tadenikawo back to Nigeria. 
that uh, Captain Ogbebi cannot take his wife and take his son. So when this information got to Captain Ogbebi, they said Captain Ogbebi have told KBSA that he should bring it on, that he thinks that UK is uh, Nigeria, where he would do anyhow and go scot-free. That uh, he cannot come and snatch Tadenikawa away from Queen Naomi, that Tadenikawa is a minor, and he's not going to allow him to do that. So when this information got to the guy, the guy have told, uh, got to KBSA. That was when they said KBSA now called Queen Naomi, saying all of this, that Queen Naomi is allowing this guy to take away his uh, wife, and not only his wife, now his son. Hmm. My people wonder, shall never end though. We all know that KBSA have not given Queen Naomi her freedom. It's not as if Queen Naomi is forlicking with this guy in question. Just that the guy is a good friend of Queen Naomi way back. And the guy have fallen for Queen Naomi. Like we heard the other time that he came back to Nigeria. He was with his friends in their club in Lagos. Why they stop, uh, uh, start talking about issues like women issue. They ask him what about that your girl Queen Naomi. Why don't you uh, tell her how you feel about her and all of that. Maybe Captain Okwebi must have told Queen Naomi, or maybe not, I do not know. But KBS is just jealous that this young two, these two young people might have fallen in love with each other. And because he doesn't want Queen Naomi to be happy with another man, or will I say he doesn't want Queen Naomi to be happy? Because not just with another man, if he really wants Queen Naomi's happiness, he will sacrifice all these women that he is gathering everywhere and makes Queen Naomi happy. And Queen Naomi deserves to be happy. Marriage is not a do or die affair. If you are in a marriage and you are not happy, you are not uh, fulfilled. You leave the marriage. This is 21st century. Mm -hmm. No marriage is perfect, yes. But there are some that are kind of better than others. You as a person, you have what you want for yourself in life. You don't want polygamy. And KBS is trying to push or force Queen Naomi to accept polygamy. It's unfair. And now KBS is asking Queen Naomi if Okwebi is better than him. Of course, if this information is true, Okwebi is better because Okwebi does not have fleet of women everywhere. He only has fleet of uh, uh, private jets. He does not gather women. He gather private jets. Mm -hmm. And any woman whom he loves, he will pay attention to that woman. He will be with that woman and that woman alone. Even if he's doing all of this side chick something, he will be hiding it. It will not be a problem to his marriage. That is what I think. Oh, guys, I don't know what you think. But don't forget that these are all alleged information. Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow my page. Give this video a thumbs up. And tell me what you think about it on the comment section. I love you guys. Bye. See you.